Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video I will show you how to pull off this down to earth eye makeup look. But just because an eye makeup look is simple doesn't mean it has to be boring. So let's get started. To begin you'll need to create a smooth base for your eye makeup using a primer. I don't have an eye primer so I will use a concealer. I am using LA Girls Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer in the shade Natural. A brush tip applicator makes placement easier than ever. Gently squeeze the product into the brush and apply as needed. This will ensure that the color shows up well and will help keep the shadow in place throughout the day. I will apply this on the eyelids and lower lash line and smooth it with my finger and then using a beauty blender I will gently dab the concealer and work it into the skin. The concealer will neutralize in any discoloration and help create a smooth base. I will not set the concealer with a translucent powder this time. Instead, I will use the eyeshadows directly onto this tacky concealer to keep the colors vibrant. So for today's eye makeup look, I have chosen neutral colors. These are really easy to wear, universally loved, and very natural looking colors. And I will create a down-to-earth brown color story, so making cohesive shadow combinations. With different brown shades is very easy. Plus the shadows are superb in quality so you get a beautiful blend, pigment and performance. First product I will use will be the Flormar Terracotta Powder 23 which is dual gold. The first swatch is a light medium gold with warm yellow undertones and a faint golden pearl over a satin finish. So I was going to apply this shade only in the inner corner of my eye but I ended up applying this shade all over the eyes as well as the lower lash line. This has such a lush, buttery, dense texture that applies beautifully and blends out with ease. Next, I will apply a highlighter to the eyelid, leaving a bit of the inner corner. I will use the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. This is the Golden Sands Edition. I will dip into the shade Tahiti. This is a very warm-toned, medium, dark copper with a frost finish. I will also apply this with my finger. Oof, so smooth and spreadable. Next, I'll be taking this 6 Crystal Powder Palette from Beauty Queen. This is the palette number two. Now it has these gorgeous highlighter shades. I will apply this light brown shade. This is a medium copper with warm orange undertones and a sparkling metallic finish. I am still using my fingers to apply all the shades. Just use a pressing motion to pack color onto the eyelid area. Next, I will take the dark brown shade from the same palette. Now this is a darker bronze with warm reddish undertones and a lighter, warmer copper pearl luminous finish. I will apply this to the lid area and using the warmth in my finger to melt the formula into my skin. Next, I will use the Flormar Terracotta Powder in shade 23 Dual Gold again. I will use the second swatch on the outer corner of my eye. The second swatch is a very warm toned copper with a luminous finish. This is how the Dual Gold swatch looks side by side. Overall, it is an amazing silky product that delivers a radiant, naturally glowing look to the eyes. Next, I will use the Balm Betty Lou Manizer, aka the Bronzing Bandit All-in-One Bronzer Shimmer and Eyeshadow. It is a very warm-toned, medium dark brown with a golden frosted finish. I will swipe this on the outer corner of the eye. It has such a fine texture that applies very well because it practically melts into the skin and looks natural and never powdery. The last shade I will use will be from Rachel Cosmetics. This is in the shade uh, number 14. It will be the darkest shade in this brown color story. And the last one. It is so smooth and velvety, it is a moderately warm toned, very dark brown shade with a satin finish. It really has a shimmery effect to it. It's not bad at all. I will apply this to the outer corner of the eyes. I will use the fluffy brush to blend out all the applied products. The fluffy brush has a tapered shape and soft fluffy bristles to help really blend the products without scratching out the lid area. Just swipe the fluffy bristles into the crease of the lids with a windshield wiper motion for a diffused look and swirl it around the edges of the eye to make the eye makeup look complicated and artful. Next, I will use a black eye pencil to tight line the upper and lower water lines. Tight lining is used to boost the intensity of your lashes and visibly neutralize any sparse sections. Use this technique to make your eyes stand out by adding definition and intensity. Use an eyelash curler, curl the top lashes, and don't forget your bottom lashes. Swipe on a coat or two of mascara, and then using an eyebrow pencil, I will use the micro angle tip end to shape, define, and add in fine hair-like strokes and then complete the brow look by using a spoolie to blend it all. To finish off the eye look, I will use a highlighter. I will use the Beauty Queen Highlighting Palette again. This is a moderately warm toned light medium gold with a pearl finish. 
It has a very bright sunshine yellow pigment and is very smooth, light creamy in texture and applies very well. I will use a smudger brush. This has short, super dense packed bristles which make this ideal for packing on the highlight shade to the inner corner of the eye for a doe eyed effect. I will also apply this to the brow bone area and above the arch of the eyebrow. As you can see, this is the base of a natural eyeshadow makeup look and it is all about sticking to a neutral palette. These neutral tones are naturally found in skin and this eye makeup look is universally flattering, made with makeup products that are extremely blendable and helps create a perfect look for both day and night. You can never go wrong with a natural eye makeup look and you have to admit it's pretty timeless too. With this basic look, you can do so much by changing the color of the eyeliner or popping in lashes or just doing both. So there are so many looks to try that really are anything but boring. And we're done! So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, you know what to do. In case you don't know what to do, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post. Leave a constructive comment and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do, but I really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, my love is bye. Jazakallah khair. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.